Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. We're out at the range today with Uncle Mike's Integrated Retention Technology Holster. Uncle Mike's Tactical Series. Stay tuned. It's been a while since uh, I've really done an, uh, you know, just an off-the-cuff video. I usually uh, these days try and prepare a little bit, have a little script ready. Uh, I thought this was a, a really good time though to sort of roll the clock back a little in nerd gone south terms and uh, do something for one of my, uh, really my oldest fans, John C., who, who really has been there since the first video, I think. Um, and just a you know a loyal follower i really appreciate it john john brought up uh, a holster that he's been using and asked if i would find one and give it a whirl and that's the uncle mike's they call this the reflex holster i guess now uh i literally know nothing about this holster john said try it so i ordered one i i was really intrigued by it because of the price point now i, I think i paid 25 bucks on amazon for this guy and if you watch the channel, you know, I'm a fan of saving money. Uh, I, I'm, not the, I'm not one of those guys that thinks, wow, more expensive is always better. Um, in fact, I'm just the opposite. I want to spend the least amount of money on gear that I possibly can. And if it works great, then there's no reason really to um, spend any more money. So uh, products like stuff from Uncle Mike's, I'm actually wearing an Uncle Mike's, Mike's um, uh, instructor belt it's my favorite it's the one I wear every day and it was the least expensive possible instructor belt I could find in my size and I like it a lot so I'm pretty intrigued to try this holster out what I thought we'd do is I'm gonna literally just take it out of the box for you um, <laughs> I, I might have to stop the camera or read the instructions a little bit but I'm gonna try and do most of this on camera live while we're well live and then uh, we'll get it on my belt and see what this whole integrated what do they call it? Integrated uh, retention technology really means. All right, let's pull it out. Um, uh, instructions. I, I point, well, this has got some sort of paddle guy here. So uh, this looks like it's got um, underhooks to get around the belt. And after the video, I'll go film some close up, up stuff. And so you, I, a lot of times you can't really see this. Uh, and then it does have, of course, belt loops, which looks like, that's nice. It looks like it's got uh, kind of instructor belt size and then regular dress belt size uh, loops on there. And it has uh, some ability to control your cant, obviously, with screws along here. So I don't know if we'll play with that or not. Probably need to cant it forward for me. Now, this is, of course, an outside the waistband holster. Um... Wow, it's got some sort of plastic doodad. That's funky. I, I'm not really a fan of these paddle holsters. Uh, I I don't like the way they retain. They always feel like they're flopping around on me. I know that they... Uh, oh, I'm guessing that's what this does. Kind of... So I bet... Well, I don't know. We'll read the instructions. <laughs> I look at Christmas morning father with this stuff. Um, anyway, I'm not a fan of the paddles. I prefer the belt retention. I'm not sure if I'll try the paddles or not. We'll we'll take a look at it. So let's see what the instructions have to say here for the integrated retention technology. Safety warning. All right. Let's <laughs> skip past that. Uh, retention lug. Press arm retention lug. Uh, hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, butt rear. It's got a butt rear. About the reflex competition holsters, removable rotating belt loop accessory. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, let's slide a gun in it and see what it does. <laughs> so we're just going to unload this real quick. Uh, this should be the size for the Glock 19. Wow, it's got pretty good retention. That's that's held onto that thing. Uh, Real tight. Ah, I see what it's doing. So, this feels very familiar. This feels like a uh, two nates tactical uh, retention system. So, you put it in, fully retained. 
you give the gun a twist and it comes right out. So you've got no buttons to depress, nothing like that. Uh, having worn a 2 uh holster for quite a while, I can tell you that that retention system takes some getting used to. You actually have to train to that. So when you draw the holster, or when you draw the holster, when you draw the gun, you've got to give it a twist, and that's what I'm doing here. Although, I've got to say, the the uh, two eight system is very pronounced. You have to to really concentrate on that when you're doing the draw. It didn't take long to get used to it, but um, if you're going to use a two eight holster, you need to always use a two eight holster because you're you're going to do that twist. Uh, and in fact, it took me a long time to stop doing the twist. But this actually is a little more natural than that. It doesn't feel too bad. So uh, no crazy tricks there. Let's strap this thing on. You know, I, I normally, uh, let me, uh, you should get the camera down here a little bit. So uh, again, I got my Uncle Mike's uh, belt on, now with the Uncle Mike's holster. So I, uh, I wear a custom holster most of the time from uh, Glenn Jefferson. Uh, there's a video out there, and that's uh, that I've done on this, at least one of them. You can go check that out. Uh, Glenn makes these to order, and if you go back and watch that video, see how to get a hold of Glenn. He's a really busy guy, and you probably have a, a really long wait to get one, but uh, if you can manage to get him to make you one, they're a nice holster. But I'm, uh, I'm normally inside the waistband, not really an outside the waistband kind of guy, but it is fun here at the range, so let's see if we can get this guy strapped on. I think we're going to try it right there. It's always, I'm wearing shorts today, probably the last shorts day of fall here in sunny North Carolina, about 70 degrees, it's really nice. And we'll try that location. That feels good. And we'll cinch that guy back up. I wear an instructor belt all the time. I love them. I've just gotten used to it. All right, so it's still empty here. Yeah, that's a little too far back. That's good enough. Okay, so that's a twist out. I think, uh, I can't remember, the two Nates has been a while, but it's, uh, it's a twist out, so I'm, I'm twisting my hand that way to do the draw. That's not too bad. I'll have to get the shirt in a tad here. It's got a pretty natural draw to it. I think we're going to need to cant it a little forward. Oh, sorry, not talking away. I'm talking away from the camera. I think we'll probably have to cant it a little bit forward before we draw any uh, live rounds on it. So I'll probably stop the camera and twiddle with the screws here. Ooh, see? You got to train for this because I just tried to pull it straight out. We'll, uh, we'll shoot some live rounds. We'll run around the range here a little bit. I'll just turn the camera on and uh, and see how big a fit it gives me trying to learn to do it. It's got a pretty natural draw once you get the twist in. Sorry, I keep talking away from the camera. Uh, I'm gonna, ooh, hey, I'm gonna stop the camera. We're gonna cant that forward and then start back up. Hold on, one sec. All right. Let's see, we want to tilt this guy that way. And looks like we just popped these two screws out and it ought to rotate. Let's see. Yeah. Mess we're getting ourselves into here. Hold on to that, make sure I don't lose it. like those might actually be captive in there. I'm not sure how that system works. It'd be cool if it's captive. So I'm going to rotate this guy like that. Uh, yep. 
Yep, okay. Put these screws back in. Pretty much no, no muss, no fuss. Well, maybe I got some muss. There we go. Get to kind of give it some positive pressure there with your finger to get the screw to take, but I don't know if they're captive or not, but they sure aren't falling out. Adjusting holsters can be kind of a pain in the butt. I'm not really a mechanically inclined guy, and I've got kind of fumble futs for fingers. Um, but don't have a keyboard. I typically don't know how it works. So <laughs> um, Most of the family gets kind of frightened when they see me getting tools in my hands, so I try not to do this in front of them. They start to freak out. All right, that feels pretty good. Let's get it back on. I'll get the camera turned back up, and we'll see how the draw is. Okay, we got our cant forward. Put this guy back on. Whoa, hey now. Nice airplane going overhead. Hey, lots of lots of traffic, uh, air traffic over us here in Samora. Okay. See how that looks. Yeah, that's good. Now, well, one more belt loop. Don't worry, I'll back up here and let you see where I've got this. Oh, I gotta tilt the camera down for you. Like I said, we're, we're doing this live. I'm not gonna do a bunch of takes. Yeah, all right, let me tilt the camera back down. Oh, hey, all right. There we are. We got a much better forward tilt. Oh, that feels actually pretty good. Oh. That that twist is a little unnatural with a canted like that. Let me get it back there a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> All right. Boy. That cant is pretty severe. I don't know. We're going to try that. We'll shoot a few live rounds and see how that works. See what we think. That feels better. My phone going off. The twist is going to take some getting used to. All right, let me get some ears on and we'll get the camera set up and do some shooting. Somebody... It's starting to feel all right. That's a terrible trigger pull. Take some getting used to. I almost think maybe the cant is 
is goofing with me. I may not want to camp this. It's starting to feel all right. Gun's in a different position than what I'm used to. I'm used to ripping my shirt up. Not used to doing the outside the waistband thing, so forgive me for that, but a terrible draw. Ah. Hang on, I'm going to get some steel up there. I'd like to get the steel up for you so you can tell whether I'm actually hitting anything. And frankly, I was shooting at a paper plate and I got all kinds of holes in it, so. I wasn't able to tell if I was hitting anything. about 30 feet something like that oh. Getting tired. Must be getting tired. That's a, that's the excuse I'm going to use anyway. All right. Going faster than I need to. That twist is something.
We're getting there. Lost the front sight there. Lost the front sight again. Those misses are always front sight. I'm always losing the front sight and pulling the trigger before I acquire. This is my biggest problem. It takes me 20 or 30 rounds every day to do it. <laughs> you get to thinking about the target. That's not what you're going to be looking at. You got to get the focus on your front sight. Good front sight. Good front sight. Again. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. There you go folks, the Uncle Mike's Tactical Reflex Holster with Integrated Retention Technology. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. Uh, I think, uh, you know, as long as you're willing to, to train with that twist, I, I think it's a viable holster for use at the range, definitely. Um, you know, I, I haven't done any sort of torture testing to be able to tell you what the, you know, long-term reliability, how the, how the thing's gonna hold up or whether, you know, um, whether it's going to make it through, you know, body slide or, or getting rolling around on the ground or anything yet. Maybe we'll do that at a later time. But for use at the range, for an outside the waistband holster, particularly if you own or a fan are a fan of two Nates holsters, um, this is going to feel real natural to you. It took me, I'm going to leave all this footage in here of me shooting so you can see just how long it took me to get used to the twist. And I think I did. I'm running around out here. Um, uh, like I normally would. It's throwing me off a little bit because I'm having to think more about this draw and so my head's in that draw than more uh, than the natural draw stroke of my inside the waistband holster, but not tremendously so. I don't know. Um, I haven't shown uh, a lot of this uh, two barrel setup on, on the channel, so I don't know if there's anything out there really to compare it to, but it's not too much different. 
I'm digging it. Thanks, Jan. Thanks for the tip. Uh, we'll maybe do a follow-up video, video on it after I use it for a while. Maybe, uh, you know, sort of give you an idea how it holds up. All right, folks. Always remember. That's what we say. Always remember. Anyone can shoot. Anyone can shoot and have fun. And you can draw from your Uncle Mike's IRT Reflex holster. We'll see you next time.